try B on your own. So first of all, we look at all of the numbers. We've got 2, 8, and another 2. They're all on your powers chart as powers of 2. So I have 2 to the x on this side. I'm going to change the 8 to 2 cubed. And now the thing to remember is how do you change things like square roots and cube roots to powers. 2 to the 1 over 3. That's a cube root. If it was a square root, you'd do 2 to the 1 over 2. And that'll come up on the next question. So now we've got everything as powers of 2, but we don't have a single power on both sides. On the right side, we have to remember what is the exponent rule when you multiply two bases that are the same. And if you're ever struggling to remember what a rule is with fractions or with different numbers, go back to whole numbers. Say if I have 3 squared times 3 to the 5, and an exponent means repeated multiplication. Well, 3 squared is 3 times 3, and 3 to the 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. How many 3's do I have in the end? I have 7 all multiplied together. So what was the rule when you're multiplying with the same base? Add the exponents. Same thing happens here. We just have 2 to the x equals 2 cubed plus 1 third. And then you have adding fractions. So you need a common denominator. 3 is the same as 9 over 3. So 9 over 3 plus 1 over 3 will be 10 over 3. And now we've got both sides as a single power with the same base. So the exponents have to be equal. And we're done. So I'll let you try part B on your own. Put up the answer in a bit. OK, I'll put a solution up for this one to see how you did. 125 is 5 cubed. The square root can be written as a half. And then you still have 2x plus 1 equals 625 is 5 to the 4. And the cube root would be 1 third. Exponent to exponent to exponent, you're going to multiply. I'll do it in two steps. 3 times a half is 3 halves, and we still have 2x plus 1. On this side, 4 times a third. Remember, 4 is 4 over 1, and when you're multiplying fractions, multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, you'll get 5 to the 4 thirds. And now I'm going to still need to distribute this 3 halves when I multiply through. 3 halves times 2x is going to be 3x, or 6 over 2, which is still 3. And 3 halves times 1 is 3 halves. And on the other side, I have 5 to the 4 thirds. So now we've got both sides as bases of 5. And so these two powers have to be the same. And so now we can write the fact that 3x plus 3 halves has to equal 4 thirds. Couple of different ways when solving with fractions. You could combine the 3 halves and the 4 thirds on the same side because they're like terms. And you could use your fraction skills with adding and subtracting fractions to combine those. Generally, what I do once I get a question with fractions is I look and see how could I get rid of the fractions? Is there a number I can multiply both equations by to get rid of the fractions? Here, if I multiply everything by 6, or both sides of the equation by 6, my fractions are going to go away. And I'll have 18x here. 18 over 2 will just be plus 9. And here, I'll just get 8. And I have no fractions. And the solving becomes quite easy. Subtract 9 on both sides. 18x equals negative 1. Divide by 18. Negative 1 over 18.
Any questions on that, any of the steps?